offering. He laid on the heads of the offering and confessed his sin. When the sacrificer places his hand on the offering, his sin are transferred to the offering. So, the first step we need to do to worship God is repentance. We need to repent our sin. Worship must begin with repentance. And through worship, we encounter the precious blood of Jesus Christ who passed over our sins. Continue verse 5. Then he shall kill the bull before the Lord, and Aaron's sons, the priests, shall bring the blood and throw the blood against the sides of the altar that is at the entrance of the tent of meeting. Verse 6. Then he shall flay, flay the burnt offering and cut it into pieces. Who is he? He shall kill. He shall flay. Who? Is a priest? Is a priest or is he a worshiper? He is worshiper. Not the priest. What's that mean? The worship, the sacrifice is not for the priest to kill. But for the dead person offering the sacrifice, he not only kills the sacrifice, but also skins it, cuts it into pieces, and even washes its internal organs and detached legs. All these things, he needs to do that. The person offering the burnt offering is not leaving everything to the priest and sitting back and watching that sacrifice. No. Worship service is not, to, is not a time to listen to the pastor's sermon and watch the praise and listen to the prayer. When we come into the presence of God, we are to offer our whole selves to God. We cannot just give God part of our life. We must give God our everything. Faith in Christ involves the whole of man. As a Christian, when we live as a Christian, that means it can be involved whole of our life, not a part of our lives. It is either or or nothing. You cannot be saved by just giving God part of your life. We must believe on Him with everything that is about us and give our all to God. So we need to participate. We need to give something we need to dedicate our whole things as we worship God. Verse 4, another processing is like, And it shall be accepted for him to make atonement for him. Atonement. Worship always points to Jesus. Worship does not bring the worshipers into the place of looking upon Jesus. It's not true worship. Whenever we worship God, we need to encounter Jesus. We need to experience the cross of Jesus, the atonement for us. Too many church services are filled with the elements of entertainment that we miss the entire purpose of worship together. 
the sacrifices that the children of Israel offered were a prelude to the cross of Jesus. Jesus Christ was a sacrifice without blemish and without spot who gave himself in total dedication to God. We believe that. When we come to our church